Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be Closer to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, we welcome you to another exciting edition of Friday Night Smackdown on the road to WrestleMania. Not one, but two Elimination Chamber qualifying matches tonight, including Finn Balor and Dexter Loomis kicking us off in moments. But coming up in your main event of the evening, the monster among men, Braun Strowman takes on the franchise, John Cena, an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. Who's heading to Anaheim on the 22nd of January? We find out in your main event tonight. But as we mentioned, we kick things off with another Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. The Prince, Finn Balor, one-on-one -on -one with the strange and mysterious Dexter Loomis, who is gonna punch their ticket and be one of six members inside the Elimination Chamber match. Let's find out right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, our last pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. And of course, this match coming up has implications on the men's Elimination Chamber matchup which will determine the World Heavyweight Champion's number one contender for WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre and Mustafa Ali qualified last week on SmackDown. Two more participants going to be determined right here tonight on your Friday night festivities. The franchise John Cena meets the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, and what should be an epic collision in your main event tonight on SmackDown. But kicking things off, the man who had a dominating performance in the Royal Rumble matchup back on New Year's night, the Prince Finn Balor, looking to be one of six members of the Men's Elimination Chamber matchup in Anaheim. As we mentioned, that match at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view will determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship in Tampa Bay, Florida, at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Of course, the World Championship will be on the line at the Elimination Chamber as well when the current champion, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, defends the gold against the winner of the SmackDown Rumble two weeks ago, the new number one contender, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. A grudge match with World Championship implications should be a huge one that's going to determine who walks into the grandest stage as the World Champion. But here comes Finn's opponent tonight, the strange Dexter Loomis. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Well, ever since debuting on Friday Night SmackDown, Dexter Loomis has had issues with Happy Bear and Corbin. One win, one loss against Corbin. I'm sure the rubber match is coming in due time, but tonight Dexter's got an opportunity of a lifetime to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. Imagine somebody as dangerous and unpredictable as this man, Dexter Loomis, stepping inside the demonic structure known as the Elimination Chamber. Anything can happen and everything will on Sunday night, January the 22nd. It's a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We're coming to you from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California for your final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. One of six men will be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship We'll find out who that's gonna be at the Elimination Chamber. We kick things off with a qualifier for the said matchup tonight. Braun Strowman and John Cena meet in your main event, but Dexter Loomis and the Prince Finn Balor meet right here, right now, kicking things off on your Friday night edition of SmackDown. 
I want to thank you for joining us here tonight for your Friday night SmackDown events. Hope you enjoy watching all around the world. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Dexter Loomis taking the fight to Finn Balor here off the opening get-go. Both these men know the importance of this contest and the opportunity that is at stake. Finn Balor had an impressive performance in the Royal Rumble matchup, as we mentioned, back on New Year's night. Had the most eliminations in that contest. The last time we saw Balor in a championship opportunity came 48 hours before the Royal Rumble. And himself, Shinsuke Nakamura, a man he's had issues with. And Bobby Lashley bent in a triple threat matchup for the United States Championship. Of course, the almighty Lashley retaining the gold on that night, pinning Nakamura. Finn Balor looking to bounce back here tonight. An elimination chamber spot hangs in the balance. Will Balor be able to get it done? Right now, Dexter Loomis is having his way with the Prince, mangling Finn Balor in the corner. Gonna get this man off and makes... Oh, oh, come on now. Well, the match is just getting underway. As we mentioned, Dexter has had issues with this man, Happy Corbin, ever since he showed up on Friday Night SmackDown. It looks like Corbin's just trying to play. To, uh, to, wait a minute. I was about to say, just trying to play distraction. Corbin's in the damn ring. Referee, turn around. Corbin, an end of days to Dexter Loomis. Oh, the, ref the referee's going to act like he didn't see Corbin strike Dexter Loomis. Dexter's down. Finn's crawling into the cover. This matchup is just getting underway. Dexter gets the shoulder up. But damn it, the damage has been done. This matchup has just kicked off, and happy Corbin rearing his ugly head. At end of days to Dexter Loomis, the referee saw Corbin in the ring, evidently didn't see the contact, and decides not to call for the disqualification when he damn near should have. And now Finn Balor has gained momentum in this Elimination Chamber qualifying match here tonight on SmackDown. You hate to see it. Hopefully Dexter Loomis, in the sake of fairness, can bounce back. But right now, Finn is all over this strange and dangerous competitor. Happy Corbin better be feeling lucky at the drawing table because he might have just bit off more than he can chew with Dexter Loomis. But right now, Balor's all over Loomis. Dexter trying to fight back or with the clothesline there. Clearly, he's not got his wits about him yet after eating that end of days and all this offense by the Prince here tonight. And Balor sees opportunity and he's looking to strike. Oh no, Dexter Loomis may be done for good. Down goes Dexter Loomis and Finn Balor into the cover. And Finn Balor with a clear cut path to the elimination chamber. We gotta imagine Dexter would have had more of a fight in this match had it not turned into a damn two on one handicap match because of this. Happy Corbin sneaks in the ring. And look at this, an end of days to Dexter, dead center of the squared circle. I don't know why the referee wouldn't call a disqualification. I guess wanted to give Dexter a fighting chance, but at the end of the day, Fowler took advantage and he's going to Anaheim. Hell, smells like collusion to me. Somebody better check Happy Corbin's bank account. There might be a payment in there from the Prince Finn Balor after that assault. But nonetheless, Drew McIntyre, Mustafa Ali, and now the Prince Finn Balor. Half of the field for the Men's Elimination Chamber matchup has been revealed. John Cena and Braun Strowman still to lock horns in your main event tonight on SmackDown. We're back live to turn the blue brand and the rock star, the powerhouse, Rick Boobs is back in action here tonight on SmackDown. He's got a huge matchup set and quite frankly, a huge opportunity in front of him as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the almighty United States champion, Bobby Lashley. And his opponent, accompanied by MVP. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley won the gold back on December the 21st at Saturday night's main event by defeating Mustafa Ali. Already, as we mentioned earlier, with a championship defense under his belt. 
just 48 hours before the Royal Rumble here on SmackDown in a triple threat matchup versus Finn Balor and Shinsuke Nakamura. But Bobby Lashley continuing on his path of destruction. It was a rough couple of months. It was a rough 2022 overall for the almighty Bobby Lashley. He really found himself in a downward spiral after he lost the WWE Championship last April. But now a part of Friday Night SmackDown and the United States Heavyweight Championship around his waist, Bobby Lashley has got a new leash on his career and a new set of dominance. And he's looking to take it out on Rick Boogs here tonight. Friday Night SmackDown rolls on on the road to the Elimination Chamber and on the road to WrestleMania and Lashley immediately off the bell with the belly to belly. Rick Boogs is going to be power for power here. Look at this, Rick Boogs, Lashley took his eye off the ball. Can't count out the young man. Big time power slam, got a little cook on it there as well. Rick Boogs is a powerhouse, he's young, he's hungry, and he's got Bobby Lashley in a torture rack here, looking to tap out the almighty early on in this matchup. Bobby Lashley is usually almost always the stronger of the competitors in his contest, but tonight may not be the case. Rick Boogs at the very least gonna be pound for pound with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley cannot take Rick Boogs lightly. I know he's the United States champion. He's been in there with the best of them. And quite frankly, he has beaten the best of them. But Rick Boogs is young, he's hungry, and he sees an opportunity dead eye. Lashley trying to make sure Rick Boogs ain't making a name for himself off the Almighty's behalf. What a power slam there. And Lashley looking to hold on to the United States Championship on the road to WrestleMania. Title's not on the line tonight. But everybody's going to be looking to step up for championship opportunities. As long as Lashley's got the United States Championship around his waist, he pretty much has a guaranteed ticket on that WrestleMania card. And Lashley taking the guts of Rick Boogs and smearing them all across the ring with that maneuver. Now look at this again. Belly to belly suplex by the United States Champion. Boogs is in trouble right now. Lashley goes for the cover, but Alex not just yet. He wants to inflict the hurt on Rick Boogs, make a statement to the SmackDown locker room that the Almighty is on a path of destruction that nobody can interfere with right now. And look at the strength from the United States Champion flipping Rick Boogs all around, but Rick Boogs counters out. Lashley took a little bit too long to strike. Look at the young man again. Tilt to whirl, trying to take out Bobby Lashley, scramble his eggs a little bit, make sure he ain't getting up, seeing straight, and down goes Lashley on the canvas again. Goes for the clothesline, STO by Boogs, and the young man starting to build momentum here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. The title may not be on the line, but Boogs knows if he can defeat Bobby Lashley, he'll certainly be first up to face Bobby Lashley once again for the United States Championship. Lashley not watching the ring awareness there. Rope break saves Rick Boogs, at least for a moment. And Lashley sending him over the top rope. Oh, no. Things about to get from bad to worse. And Boogs gets dropped right on the ring apron. Dominance and destruction is a path that Bobby Lashley always leaves behind. Boogs is down and out right now here on Friday Night SmackDown. And just gets sent into the steel steps. And Lashley gonna head back into the ring. We know the Almighty is more than capable of winning by pinfall or submission, but at the end of the day, he just wants his hand raised. He'll take a count out if so means so. Five. Boogs not looking to pass up the opportunity. Hook a minute, but gets back into the ring. Oh, wait a minute here. Catches Lashley off guard. Look at the strength from the man in the red. Power slam. Press slam. Lashley goes down. Is this going to be the upset of the night? But Lashley gets the shoulder up. A close call for Rick Boogs. Almost had the United States champion put away. Oh, Lashley didn't take too kindly of that. Look, trying to one-up Rick Boogs here. Press slam with style by the United States champion. Power move for power move, pound for pound. Boogs versus Lashley here tonight. Lashley may be a little bit surprised by the offense out of Rick Boogs. He may not have been expecting this much fight, but I don't know why he wouldn't. Look at this, a belly to belly suit.
suplex sends Bobby Lashley halfway across the ring. And Lashley springs up at a clothesline, and the United States champion, running off adrenaline right now, may have just been pissed off by the offense of Rick Boogs, because down he goes. United States champion into the cover, and Bobby Lashley makes an emphatic statement here tonight on SmackDown. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Rick Boogs pushing Bobby Lashley here tonight, gave the matches all, tried to hang in there with the United States champion, but in the end, as we've talked about all night, a path of destruction is exactly what the United States heavyweight champion of SmackDown is leaving behind. Bobby Lashley picks up the win tonight on SmackDown. The action continues here tonight on SmackDown with a six-man tag between Legado del Fantasma and Lucha House Party, plus Los Lotharios Humberto Carrillo one-on-one -on -one with Akira Tozawa. Legado del Fantasma finds himself in the winning ways in the six-man tag team matchup, plus Los Lotharios Humberto Carrillo gets the singles victory against Akira Tozawa here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Still to come, John Cena meets Braun Strowman for a spot inside the Elimination Chamber. But right now, Alpha Academy's big man, Chad Gable's number one guy, Otis, is set to meet the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Elimination Chamber. The winner of the 10-man SmackDown Rumble two weeks ago, Dolph Ziggler has arrived. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler has had an issue with Seth Rollins ever since November, and he's been waiting to get his hands on the visionary ever since. He found his opportunity through the SmackDown Rumble, entered at number one, outlasted all other nine competitors, and now with the World Heavyweight Championship around the waist of the visionary, Dolph Ziggler meets himself the number one contender versus the world champion. One-on-one, -on -one. wait a minute here. Alpha Academy's Otis, Ziggler has no idea. Otis is in the ring already and trying to attack the number one contender from behind. The matchup not even beginning yet. Well, I guess it's begun now. Otis not waiting for the bell, taking the fight to Dolph Ziggler. The referees in the ring, Ziggler trying to fight back. This matchup is underway here on SmackDown. Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler looking to continue his momentum on the road to the Elimination Chamber to fight Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Otis, on the other hand, looking to make a statement for Alpha Academy here tonight. A winner over Dolph Ziggler definitely going to raise the stock of Otis and Gable here on SmackDown. Not for nothing, but I'm sure Seth Rollins met with Otis before this matchup. But I asked him to do a favor on Dolph Ziggler ahead of the Elimination Chamber, weaken up the number one contender. I'm sure Chad Gable and Otis had no problem obliging. I'm just speculating, but you never know with some of these characters in the SmackDown locker room. Dolph Ziggler's hanging his own. He might have just got fired up. A push of adrenaline, a fire under the ass of the show off tonight. Not only because the World Championship opportunity is looming, but Otis trying to make a name off Ziggler's behalf. I don't think the show off was having none of it. Ziggler taking the fight to the big man. Oh no, going for a neck breaker here and enough to take the big man off his feet. Down goes Otis. And Ziggler with a nice snap man. All about continuing the momentum for Dolph Ziggler and a super kick. I don't care who you are. You might be able to count to 20 off that one. Dolph Ziggler wasted no time to get that W here tonight. Otis may have attacked from behind, but it only lit a fire under that man. Ziggler. Ziggler making a statement. Ahead, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes the world champion. Seth freaking Rollins is in the ring. Dolph, you might want to turn around because Seth is waiting for you to drop kick to the number one contender. Ziggler getting jumped from behind to start this matchup versus Otis and now getting jumped from behind by his man. He will face in Anaheim, the world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins. Rollins just trying to get an edge before the elimination chamber. Look at this, trying to tie up with Ziggler. 
Trying to weaken the number one contender. And on DDT, down goes Ziggler. It's about making a statement. It's about weakening the number one contender. Rollins wants to prove who's in control and who's gonna leave the world champion. Dolph Ziggler may have won his matchup tonight, but Seth Rollins is leaving with the last laugh. But will that be the case? Coming up on the 22nd of January at the Honda Center in Anaheim, Seth freaking Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship. And also coming up at the Elimination Chamber, the Men's Chamber matchup to decide who fights the World Champion at WrestleMania. McIntyre, Balor, and Ali have already qualified. Cena or Braun Strowman will join in a matter of moments. The Women's Elimination Chamber match for Monday Night Raw as well will decide the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Ripley, Becky Lynch, Shotzi, Bailey, and Raquel have already qualified. One more spot still to be determined who's going to WrestleMania. And who will walk into WrestleMania as the WWE Women's Champion? Will it be the number one contender, Tegan Knox, Or will the Empress of Tomorrow continue her reign at the top of the division, Asuka versus Knox for the gold? Just announced this past Monday Night on Raw, DIY, take on the New Day. Kofi and Woods have had Gargano and Ciampa's number as of late. Will they be leaving Anaheim with the WWE World Tag Team Championship? The Intercontinental title is on the line. Karrion Cross has made a mugging of Pete Dunne week after week. The Bruiserweight's gotta be fired up heading into this fight. Who is gonna leave with the Intercontinental gold? It's the undefeated versus the Bruiserweight. And the Monday Night Raw main event sees the number one contender, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, reuniting an old rivalry versus the Apex Predator, the Viper, the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, for the WWE Championship of Monday Night Raw. But it is time to decide who will be the next man to enter SmackDown's Elimination Chamber matchup. Main event time, here comes the franchise. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena! This is John Cena's first matchup since coming up short to the visionary Seth freaking Rollins back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cena looking to bounce back tonight in a big way. The opportunity of a lifetime hangs in the balance. A spot inside the Elimination Chamber could possibly lead to a victory inside the Elimination Chamber and could lead that man, the 16-time world champion, the face of the WWE, the franchise player, John Cena, to getting another chance to become the World Heavyweight Champion for the 17th time in his career at WrestleMania. It is a big fight feel here tonight on SmackDown. Finn Balor. Mustafa Ali, Drew McIntyre. Three of six spots have already been determined. Who will be the fourth? We're gonna find out right here, right now, in your SmackDown main event. And here comes the monster! And his opponent from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to sidetrack for a moment because moments ago on Twitter, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, had this to say. He said, Lashley hurt my friend Rick Boogs tonight. Impressive. To some, I want my shot next. One-on-one -on -one for the United States title. Let's say Elimination Chamber. Shinsuke Nakamura throwing out the challenge. He wants the United States Champion Bobby Lashley at the Elimination Chamber. I'm sure we're gonna have to wait till next week on SmackDown to see if that matchup is made official. But a huge challenge has been laid out. But ladies and gentlemen, a lot going on tonight, but we gotta stay focused. It's the Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. The monster among monsters, the franchise, Braun Strowman, John Cena, one-on-one -on -one in your main event. And Strowman right off the bell with a choke slam to John Cena. 
It is a big fight atmosphere, high stakes, high reward for the winner of this matchup as Braun is taking the fight to Cena right off the bell. Every single man in the SmackDown locker room wants their opportunity. It'll be Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins for the World Championship at the, at the Elimination Chamber. The winner will defend the gold at WrestleMania against the winner of the Elimination Chamber matchup. McIntyre, Balor, Ali already qualified. Cena or Strowman will be up next. And so far, so good for Strowman in this match. But Cena looking to fight back. Here comes the franchise, They're able to dodge Braun Strowman. And look at this, the strength! Able to turn Braun inside out off the clothesline. And now Cena in his first matchup since the Royal Rumble. Heads to the top rope, awaiting Strowman to get to his feet. And here comes the franchise with a crossbody. Any means necessary to take down the bigger competitor, but let's face it, John Cena's made a career out of taking on all challenges at his face, the biggest and the best. Braun Strowman, he may be a monster, but Cena has beaten monsters in the past. But will Cena meet his match in this monster here tonight on SmackDown? Cena heads back to the top and drops the fist right on Braun. Now Cena to the cover, looking to qualify for Anaheim, California, not just yet. As this main event rolls on, once again, it is a live premiere. Sunday night, January the 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell down below so you don't miss out. Honda Center, Anaheim, California, the final pay-per-view stop before WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. Braun Strowman and John Cena in your main event of SmackDown duking it out for a spot inside the men's elimination chamber matchup in Anaheim. Cena able to counter Braun there. Look at the strength from Cena. Whips him off into the corner and follows it up with the clothesline. Now into the cover. Multiple covers from Cena so far, but not enough to put Strowman away. Cena may be trying to get this match done early while his strength's at his highest, and he might be able to beat out Braun Strowman in a guest test of power. Braun able to counter, now John Cena, oh look at this, finds himself in a predicament. Braun Strowman, down goes John Cena! And the monster among men, the monster among monsters in WWE, may have just punched his ticket to the Elimination Chamber, and Cena kicks out. Strowman is coming out swinging. Immediately off the bell, hit John Cena with a choke slam and has followed up with every power move in the book since. Going for that power slam, but Cena able to get out of it with a rushing leg sweep. The fact that we are still earlier on in this contest also may be paying John Cena dividends right now, but at the end of the day, Braun's offense is Braun's offense, and it's going to do a damage on no matter who he's in the ring with. Nice counter by Cena with the big boot. I would have taken Strowman down at least for another moment. Got to stay focused here, whips the big man off. He's got to be careful. He's not expending too much energy off those Irish whips. He's done them a couple of times throughout this matchup. It's going to take a lot out of you to push somebody the size of Braun away into the ropes. And look at Braun Strowman utilizing one right there. Sends John Cena over the top rope and down to the floor here on Friday Night SmackDown. And I don't think John Cena, as much of a brawler and he is at heart. I don't think it's a good idea to stay out here with Braun Strowman. It's already dangerous to be in there with the monster. Now out, add the outside elements into the fray, and it's only going to get more dangerous. Three. Crash and burn for the franchise by the hands of the monster among monsters as he sends John Cena back into the ring, and Braun Strowman finds himself in control in this Elimination Chamber qualifier. Cena back to his feet. Braun Strowman coming after him now. May have taken too long as John Cena takes down Braun. And another shot. Down goes Strowman. Cena with the collar and elbow. John Cena, look at that. Look at that. Hurricane Rana. Cena pulling out all the stops. And a crossbody to Braun Strowman. Cena's trying to unload here on the monster. Any means necessary to not only get him off his feet, but... Keep him down, keep him off his feet, get that three count, and qualify for the Elimination Chamber. 
Thomas just unloading shot after shot on the big man as John heads back up to the top rope. And he means necessary, as we mentioned, once again drops the dime on the noggin of Braun Strowman. And now John Cena looking to follow it up here. He's looking for that five knuckle shuffle. A little you can't see me hits it flush. And after all that offense, Followed it up with the five knuckle shuffle. Is that all she wrote in your SmackDown main event? Not just yet as Braun Strowman, the power of the big man, muscles up for a counter. Cena not able to put Strowman away yet. Now Braun trying to get back into this fight. Has got John Cena in his grasp. And sends him down to the canvas. And has Cena thrown his best shot at Braun Strowman in this contest? Has he exhausted the tank? Is he on E? John Cena trying to fight back. Can't count out the franchise as he takes down Strowman with another DDT. So the reason John Cena is a 16-time world champion, future Hall of Famer. At the end of the day, Braun Strowman's Braun Strowman. And no matter who Strowman's across the ring with, that person is most likely going to be looked at as the underdog. Cena down once again. Braun grabbing a hold of the big, I almost said the big man, but the big man's grabbing a hold of Cena. Cena able to take him off and see with that crossbody. That's worked a few times in this matchup at how much more can Cena keep throwing Braun the same offense until Braun Strowman reads it like a book and is able to counter. Oh, now Cena with a shot to the gut. Back and forth, we're starting to go here with these blows. Now Cena. Wait a minute, Cena's lying away. I think we know what's coming. Look at the strength. Attitude adjustment. He gets the big man up. He sends the big man down. And John Cena has got a first class ticket to Anaheim, California. And just like that, the fourth man for the Elimination Chamber matchup has been determined. John Cena joins Mustafa Ali. Finn Bauer and Drew McIntyre. Two more spots still to be determined for the Elimination Chamber matchup to decide the number one contender for the World Championship at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. An incredible fight in your SmackDown main event, a sign of respect between the franchise and the monster. Nothing but respect for both of these gentlemen, but tonight belongs to John Cena. Make sure to subscribe to the Elimination Gaming YouTube channel down below. The Elimination Chamber is live Sunday night, January the 22nd at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you, and good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.